Good morning everybody and welcome back to Shave Up. Today I have a special video and let's get right into it. It's going to be a review of the Art of Shaving Travel Kit. And oops, comes with a nice little case here. Has the Art of Shaving logo on it. And it's leather that has beautifully lined, has the shaving cream, the travel brush with the travel case, the pre-shave oil and the aftershave lotion and then a little piece of foam to kind of fill the space. Case also has a little loop where you can store a razor or what I usually use it for is strop paste or Thierry Sassard pate de rasoir. And it just holds in there real nice. <clears throat> and it's a really nice little kit. My uh, brother got this for me Christmas of 2013, right after I started wet shaving. And so this was the second product that I got to try. First I had the Van der Hagen set, the brush, the luxury, now the deluxe soap, the bowl, and all of that. And my brother got me this kit, which has the brush, the pre-shave oil, aftershave, and everything in the shaving cream. All comes in nice little containers, little dispensers here. And this is empty and has been empty for a long time. I'll show you in a minute. But what you do is you just squeeze it out, press it, it comes out a good size. I would say even half a press would be good enough for a shave. And I'll go a little bit back to this in a moment here as well. Brush is soaking, has been soaking, and this is just a nice hard plastic case. Has little holes in the cap for ventilation. And we have the pre-shave oil, and this is the sandalwood scent. Didn't I forgot to mention that? Each one has a cap and the push button dispenser, or just a squeeze dispenser and then the aftershave balm. This is a balm, so it's a little bit thicker, um, not as much of an alcohol base. The scent is a fantastic um, sandalwood scent. It's the only one that I've used. I have smelled some others scents, um, Taylor Vol Bond Street, uh, the Pro Rassel Sandalwood, uh, I think Fine Sandalwood as well. I don't remember, but I've tried, smelled a couple different ones. This is the only one I've used, and it smells amazing. And things do smell a little bit different when you're using and then just instead of what you're smelling. So right now this is my favorite sandalwood scent compared to just the scents in their tubs and containers. But it is an awesome scent, an awesome sandalwood scent. It's not um, too strong, but it does stick around a little bit sometimes, which is awesome. And so now I'm going to take a look, take you back in time real quick and show you what I did right before, well, a few minutes before this video. It's going to start right now. Okay, so what I have here is the very last of my Art of Shaving Sandalwood shaving cream that I have. It's all dried up. haven't used this in, I think, over a year. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of drops of water to this because it's dried out. And it's not going to get onto the brush very well and lather. And this is how I do it if I have some dried out shaving cream. So get a little bit either in your bowl or if you have it in a container like I do. I'm just going to put just a couple drops to kind of get it to... Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. So we have just a little bit of water in there. And that is going to help get the cream back into close to a cream because it's been all dried. So it's going to absorb some of the water. And so let's get back to the shaving. Okay. So as you can see, I was getting my shaving cream ready and it has absorbed a lot of the water and it's not as dry as it was. So we're going to be able to just get that ready into a lather and if 
you know, that's not enough or anything. I do have in the other side here, I have some sandalwood, sorry, not sandalwood, um, Art of Shaving Lemon Cream here that a friend let me take some out of his big tub. Oh, that smells good, the lemon. Sandalwood smells amazing too. I really don't want to mix the lemon and the sandalwood today. I put the brush to soak right after that little jump back in time right there. So it's been just a few minutes here. It's good to go. And here's again a look at the shaving brush. Probably seen it a few times. Art of shaving here. Starting to wear out because I use it a lot. Pure Badger. The kits do come. I don't know if they still have this kit. I was looking online real quick before I started making the video. I couldn't find this kit. I did find a carry-on kit, which is really nice if you fly a lot and you want the art of shaving stuff to go with you. I would say just getting that if you absolutely love the art of shaving and everything. And it's really nice and convenient. You don't have to transfer containers or anything like that. <clears throat> but this brush is a pure badger, like it says on the back, and they sell a different, a couple different grades of badger uh, brushes. And this is what my brother got me. And it is awesome. I love the brush. It is a little small, but it still works amazingly. And let's see here. So let's get right into the shave. Starting with... Let's get the lather built. I'm going to get my face a little bit wet again. All right. And let's see how well this did here. So I'm going to grab just a popsicle stick I have laying in one of the drawers down here. And I'm going to scoop it into my Star Wars bowl. And this is a little bit what it looks like after it's been soaking. So it looks more like the shaving cream like it used to when, I was, when it was in the container. Okay, and with the container, coming back to it, one thing I don't like about the dispenser for the shaving cream is, and I have a little bit on here, so I'm just going to put that right under the brush. What I don't like about the dispenser for the shaving cream, and a little bit, go, same goes for the aftershave a little bit as well, but... When you dispense it, it'll come right back up and just remove the spring because I wanted to. It will, the shaving cream will stay here and it will dry up depending on how long you use it. If it's been a really long time, it could dry up all the way up to here. But then when the next time you use it, it'll be harder to press and out comes stuff that has dried out a little bit. So what I did is I would take that dried out part and I'd set it aside and save it up a few times and then I scoop that out and use that for a shave a little bit. And so that's what I did. And then when I <laughs> couldn't get any more out of it, I pulled it apart and I found there was actually some still in it. So I scraped all that out and that's what you see in the eyeglass case. And that's what I'm gonna be using today. The absolute last of my Art of Shaving stuff, shaving cream, which I got, see here today, just over three years ago. So just past Christmas 2016. And so it's been just over three years. It is January 12th today, I think. I don't know, it's the second Saturday, Thursday in January of 2016, wow, 2017. Okay, <clears throat> so that's one thing I don't like about the dispenser. It does dispense a good amount of soap, um, cream, a nice amount for a lather and a shave. And here's that we have in the bowl that we should still be able to get a good shave out of this here. And I'm going to start lathering, building the lather. And that right there is why I don't like the dried stuff and I like to soak it out again because it will tend to just kind of stay. And you got to work at it a little bit more to get that to become back into a lather from the dried out cream. The soaps don't have this problem because what you're doing is you have a big chunk of hard soap and you're just scraping off a little bit with the bristles of the brush and so it's already 
has the water throughout it and if you're blooming it then it has the nice water throughout it as well good mixture but if you let the cream dry out this is just a personal issue of mine so it, it looks like it is going to take a little bit so i'm just going to finish this here off camera because i don't want the video to be long so i'll see you in a moment all right so there we go and that all that lather was from that little bit of shaving cream and it was still not creamy all the way out throughout and was still a little bit dry so it did stick around for a little bit so I was kind of chasing it around I ended up deciding to just squish it against the bottom of the bowl and that seemed to work because I think it is completely gone and in the lather now which is exactly what I was looking for so there we go look at that it is a fantastic product the art of shaving shaving cream I love it. I do want to get a puck of their hard soap sometime. Probably going to go with the lemon because I love the lemon scent. And so moving on to the next step, let's go ahead and there we go. So I just wet my face. That's the aftershave balm. Now we pick up. Artist shaving pre shave oil. And this is the only pre shave oil I've ever used. I think it's about halfway done because I don't use it a lot. I personally don't like it too well. So I'm just going to do a full pump. Now let's do two pumps today. I mean, I never use it, so why not? And then we'll just get this on the good old face. So pre-shave oils are to increase, you know, the barrier between your face and the blade, provide a little bit more slickness, you know, hydration to your face, a couple different things. I, with this art of shaving, I feel it does not provide any slickness at all. It actually, to me, and you may have different opinions to this, I'm going to add even more. I find it feels stickier it to me i just don't feel it providing any slickness at all and then your hands are all oily so i generally just put a little bit of soap and wash it off real quick before i continue my shave smell is fantastic with the pre-shave oil as with all of these products here they all smell amazing with the sandalwood my wife's gonna love me when she gets home from school today And this is actually the product I used the day I got married, so that's pretty cool. And I did not use my Gillette Black Beauty that day, but I think I used my my straight razor. But today, we're going to use this because my straight razor is not sharp right now. I need to get honed. So again, um, let's go ahead and get some of these sideburns a little bit more, actually. And that is fantastic. Maybe the pre-shave oil is providing a little bit more glide. But 
But you can just hear it. At least I can. I hope you can too. The blade just goes whoosh. Right there. And I used my Artist Shaving Cream sparingly because I wanted it to last. And it did last and last and last because I was using it, I don't know, maybe about once a month before I stopped it completely. And I didn't use it earlier because I was wanting to make this video before I even got the channel ready. And I did want to mention real quickly that all that shaving cream you see in the bowl was from that little piece of shaving cream. I did not add any other shaving creams. I did not replace it. So that is really what it did. And that is one thing I love about wet shaving. It's because you get your bang for your buck. Or, in my case, my brother's buck. Thank you, Keith. It's awesome. Oh. It was awesome. I still have the pre-shave oil and the shave and after shave though, so. Alright, so I think I'm gonna just jump to the after the last pass up for this. Uh, you know the rest you know the routine. Water, lather, gonna go from ear to nose, water, lather, and then from down bottom to top. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm back after the third pass, and I did get a couple of nicks because I was trying to go too quickly, a little bit too much pressure, and poor technique. <laughs> Not because of the product or anything, I'm just gonna go like here with my styptic pencil. If you don't have one of these, I suggest getting one. They're awesome. As Nick, it's just like all sealed up. And then we'll dry it off and put it back in its case. So, um, as a note here, in between the passes when I was rinsing off, I could still feel the shaving oil. And so that was nice. Um, so that part is good that I do like about it. I think during the shave it does actually provide a little bit more slickness. I got some shaving cream in my hair. Yeah, so, but I need to experiment more with um, some pre-shave oils. I'll probably use this one a little bit more. Um, but my current, I'm kind of on the fence with this pre-shaving oil. Um, so, now I'm moving on to the aftershave balm. This has a little bit of the same problem as the shaving cream does. It does dry out a little bit in the nozzle. So sometimes you'll see it just pulling out. You can just pull out a little piece of dried up shaving cream. Let's go ahead and do a clear cold water rinse. There we go, nice cold water. Styptic pencil taste. Okay, which isn't bad. It's just kind of a lemony metallic kind of thing. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I don't suggest looking at a styptic pencil just to see what it feels like, tastes like. So let's, there we go. See a little bit of you know, booger <laughs> there. But that's just, there we go. So I'm gonna use that much today and I'm running out. Because this I did like more than the pre-shave oil. It is a fantastic balm. Um, it's winter here, so... I, and it was actually snowing early right before I 
start of this video. That looks like a little dried piece of aftershave. So if you're using like the tubs or other containers, you might not have the same problems. It's an awesome aftershave. Feels amazing on the face. And still got some stubble here left over. Oh well. It's good enough shave for me. The cheeks are fantastic. The scent is fantastic and what I've done in the past is later throughout the day, a couple hours or so later, I'll just rub my cheeks and I'm actually can smell it again. <laughs> Even though it it has kind of dissipated and weakened throughout the day. Sorry for interrupting, I'm probably just about to do the outro. Um, but I just wanted to, again, just mention a couple things with the brush real quick. It is super soft and it does a great lather with cream, soaps, soft soaps, everything that I have. It's done a great job lathering, getting a good lather real quickly, real easily. Bristles are super soft. When I first actually felt it on my skin, it was awesome compared to the boar brush, which I have, which is a lot scratchier. So. Yeah, that's just some notes I wanted to add real quick about the Art of Shaving Brush. And I'll let myself get back to the video. Sorry for interrupting, dude. So, <clears throat> again, that was the... That was the last of it. I can't... I don't have anything after this. That was the last of it. The shaving brush is awesome. Comes with the travel case and the travel case for the brush. You can put that in, just right in and travel with it. Super easy. I've done that a couple times. It's a great little, um, I haven't used the whole travel kit to travel, uh, cause by the time I was traveling, I was already out of this. So I didn't get a chance to use the whole kit traveling, but at home it works fantastic. Um, containers all have the lids so that you're not going to be getting product all over the inside of your case or your suitcase or anything like that. It's great, and you can take the foam out here, and you'll have that much more room. I've just left it in. I think that might be the first time I ever took it out. Maybe second. But it's a great little kit if you want to get it for someone uh, or get it for yourself. I It's a great... I If you like sandalwood, you'd be happy with it. I'm pretty darn sure. Um, it's wonderful. So I'm beginning to repeat myself again. So... That was uh, my review for the Art of Shaving Travel Kit. And I want to say thanks again for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. I think it's like right around here. Especially if you're on the uh, cell phone. I know it's like right in this area. Um, comment, share, subscribe. Have a fun day. Hello everybody. My wife just got back from nursing school and she's going to be my arms for the moment. <laughs> and so baby, wife rating. It's two thumbs up and the scent. That's sandalwood. That's What's a... your review on the, the scent? Um, it, I like it, but I'm kind of biased. That's the only thing he actually used when we were engaged and dating. So <laughs> kind of reminds me of before. That when we were all getting all close together and being dating and stuff. Yeah. And now we're just like, stuff. ew, you're gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. <laughs> right. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Do what works for you and shave up.